and here i present day 28th of december eat good challenge i hope all of you guys are following along this december series and we are in toast to completing it very soon within next 3 days the question that we have in today's remove stones to minimize the total the question is a medium level question on late code and i totally feel the same let's try and understand the question the question says you are given a pile of stones in a form of an array and an integer value k what you can do if we need to perform k operations on this pile of arrays and with each operation what you can do you can pick up any one element from this pile you can remove those many stones from that pile and what do you need to do you need to identify the minimum possible total number of stones that remain after applying the operation k times so you need to perform these operation k times and if the each operation you can remove floor of any element on the piles divided by two stones from it and you need to identify the minimum possible ones that remain in total finally so the floor definition is also specified it represents the greatest integer that is smaller than or equal to x quickly move on to the presentation section and i'll explain the algorithm using this example by the ppt so let's quickly hop on to it the question says return minimum possible total number of stones remaining after applying k operations and with each operation what you can do you can remove the floor of any pile entry by 2 from that pile entry and let's think over it the minimum word is really important so if you want to minimize the total what you will be doing you will be picking up this the pile that has the maximum stones on it so that after removing piles by 2 from it whatever remains will be least in nature what i am trying to say let's try and understand it up so right now what do we have we have the the pile entry as 5 4 and 9 remember what we are going to do we will be selecting that pile which has the maximum entry which one has the maximum entry 9 has the maximum entry so what we will be doing we will be removing 9 by 2 stones from this pile and 9 by 2 gives you 4 that means we have to remove four stones from the third pile so let's up update the array and we have consumed one operation so the remaining value would be 9 minus 4 gives you 5 and this is the updated state we have consumed one operation so how many operations remain one operation remain and again what i'm going to do next i'm again going to select that pile which has the maximum entry which one has the maximum entry 5 has the maximum entry so we have a collision for 5 so you can pull in pull out any of the 5 so 5 by 2 gives you 2 and let's subtract 2 from this this pile of 5 stones and what remains what remains is 3 4 and 5 this is the final state now you have consumed all the operations and what is the state of the array we have three elements 3 4 and 5 what is the total 3 plus 4 is 7 7 plus 5 is 12 and if i ask you guys if you want to algorithmize this up which way or which data structure are you going to use you will be using max heap why max heap because it gives you the maximum element that is present in this entire heap in order of log n complexity where n is the number of elements present in that heap so this is what we are going to do every time we will pull out elements from the heap the maximum one will be returned we will consume or reduce that many elements from that pile of heap and we will update the heap with the updated value so what i am trying to say you will get to know during the coding section so let's quickly hop on to it in the first go what i have done i have defined a max heap and remember while defining the comparator for defining max heap it will be b minus a for min heap it is a minus b moving ahead i have added all the elements that are part of the piles array into the max heap and what i'm going to do next while my k is greater than 0 that means i haven't consumed the all the k operations and my heap is not empty i pull out the maximum element from the heap it will be automatically ha handled by the poll method that's the property of the heap and i update the element with max element minus floor value of max element by 2 once i have the updated value i add this element back into the heap i reduce the k pointer and once i'm out of the loop whatever 
elements remain in my heap co will co correspond to the answer will contribute to the answer i have created a variable ans i have pulled out all the elements that are there in my heap added to the answer variable and in the end i simply return that up let's quickly try and submit this accepted with this we have successfully completed today's session i hope you enjoyed it if you did then please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for viewing it have a great day ahead and if you are interested in more questions of the heap series then what do you need to do you need to go and check out coding decoded sd preparation sheet where all the important topics are mentioned from interviews perspective so guys here is a list uh, you will find dp you will find graph try binary search backtracking all the complicated topics along with video solutions over here in a google doc looking forward to trying this up and let me know the feedback on it so far it has been great